Hello there. We are still in these lovely verses out of chapter 10 of Hebrews. And I'm going to look today at verse 23, which says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Now that's, that's got wonderful truth in it. We need to hold on, especially on, in those times when we feel our humanity the worst, when we feel we've failed the most, when we feel the most stupid, the most guilty, when those feelings overwhelm us. We need to hold fast the confession of our, of our hope. And, our, and the word hope here is about something you are absolutely certain will happen. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> we don't use the word hope in the Christian context. In the expression uh, like this, well, I hope to win the lottery. Well, I, I, I never will because I don't buy a ticket. But just for example, I hope, I could say, well, I hope the sun shines today with no certainty that it will. But I can say, I hope to go out for lunch today, because Terry's taking me to the Waffle House in Axminster. We're going to have waffles and crispy bacon and maple syrup. I hope to go to the Waffle House today with Terry. Now that is a certainty, barring anything awful happening in between now and then but it is as close to a certainty as it's possible to get but more certain than that is the fact that we have been given eternal life and that we have been forgiven and we are children of God and we are seated in the heavenlies in Jesus Christ and we are the righteousness of God we are forgiven we have eternal life all these faith statements we need to Hang on to without wavering. If you're not convinced of some of these things, find the verses that talk about them and learn them by heart. And tell your wavering human flesh the truths of the gospel. These are wonderful truths. These are so, these are so exciting. These are so amazing. And we need to hold fast to them without wavering. We must never doubt that God is on our side. We must never doubt that God is good. When something awful happens to us, we must never let pass our lips a statement like, I don't know why God has allowed that to happen to me. Come on, this is, God, it is impossible for God to send bad things to us. God is good. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of lights, says James. And, and God is, is not changeable. He, he doesn't change with the weather. He doesn't change with the mood. He is constant. And his constancy is trustworthy. He's never going to change. He's not going to change his mind about you and he's not going to change about his mind about me. And we can hold fast to the confession of our faith without wavering. Why? For he who promised is faithful. The reason we can hold fast to all these things is that the one who has promised all these things is unchangeable and is faithful. He is not going to change his mind. Jesus, as Hebrews has said at the beginning, is God's last word. It can't be improved on, it can't be added to. Don't let anyone add anything to this straightforward, simple faith that Jesus achieved everything necessary for our salvation on the cross. We cannot do anything to add to it. And if you have some theory that there are things that we can do that will add to what Jesus has done. When Jesus was on the cross, he said, it is finished. It is complete. And he offered a perfect sacrifice once and for all to the Father. He who promised these things is faithful. Our hope, our expectation of the future and of, of God's love for us is based on the fact that God is unchangeable and it is God who has said these things and it relies on an absolutely steadfast certainty. You, an immovable force. 
It's impossible for it to change. God has said it. Nothing, no circumstance of life can change that. And even if the worst comes to the worst, and we find that we are incurably unwell, then we have eternity. It's a win-win situation. We win if God heals us. We win if God takes us home. Because the true fact of the matter is that none of us are going to get out of this world alive. And if the Lord comes before we physically die, we will go, our bodies will be changed and we will go with him to glory. We're in a win-win situation. Whatever comes our way, we're in a win-win situation. And we shouldn't live as if we're defeated. We should live in the victory that God has given to us. Because he who promised is faithful. What a wonderful statement. He who promised is six words. He who promised is faithful. Everything that we believe, everything that means anything to us, is certain because the one who promised it is faithful. He who promised is faithful. Say that. Say it with me. He who promised is faithful. That's where our certainty lies. In the faithfulness of God, not in our achievement, but in the faithfulness, consistency and trustworthiness of God himself. He who promised is faithful. Hallelujah. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.